Um, this topic, I, I've made the video in the past, but my phone got smashed by my client. And this topic is more like, especially those who are only understand what I'm saying on this video, especially when you come from a rat race city. Right, I'm pretty sure there's a rat race city in every single country out there. All right, now I'm originally from Sydney. Sydney is a lot more rat race than Melbourne. All right, so when you have that rat race, I've met one of the co workers as agency staff who used to live in Sydney and he shared me his story that how he float a boat and how he moved to Melbourne and everything like that. At the beginning of his uh, arrival to Australia, him and his community 20 of them were living in one apartment i think it was two bedroom apartment and 20 of them um, just sardine can the hell out of it living on floor to floor space to space everywhere it goes he tells he shares with me all the struggles and how he float a boat along with his wife and to stay up boat to leave the uncomfortable situation to become to fight to success to be where he is today so obviously right now he has kids probably one is 15 or 13 and he's slowing down but obviously right now the cost of living is going up interest rate is ongoing every single month he's he struggle and you know i told him i'm like you know those days that you told me the sydney lifestyle that you weren't you go you have the whole stack of resume you apply every single job out there from kitchen hand to kitchen hand to restaurant to restaurant to look at you right now you, you've raised a family two children with a beautiful house and a beautiful family as well and a cars look what are you now when you become too comfortable you forget about ongoing to be hungry all right and look at you where you are now you're having one or two jobs um, slowing down because you have a family and but you struggle to stay a, a, a float on the society because of the cost of living and I told him that even if you have bring up some ideas to save money for your uh, for the wife uh, for example you know maybe shift the family to live in the garage and uh, you know to or you know just to uh, sh uh, or have a couple of rooms to rent out to someone else just to bring an extra income source obviously you, you live in a comfortable lifestyle and it doesn't work that way and you know it's just um, it's not accepting it and I told him that you remember those days that you went, came to Melbourne or uh, to, to Sydney you would do anything to stay afloat but the moment you become comfortable the moment you become slowed down he's eating himself alive and he, he's even told me that he's surprised that he's in this position where when he first came to Australia there was hustle and bustling even the money that he made he can't save money in Sydney because of the cost of living is too high and look where he is now he bought a house X Y and Z and now he's struggled to stay afloat and that's why I told him I'm like when people stay comfortable they die and this is the problem that people shouldn't stay comfortable all the time. I know it's so harsh for me to say this on the video, but you kind of understand what I'm saying. Because anything could happen into your life any little moment. Of course, the moment you have a family, whatever, you have a large expenditures, uh, such as maybe you have like two, three cars, two, three insurance, maybe you have Netflix and Disney Plus. It all adds up. I'm letting you know one by one. Maybe then you know healthcare, private healthcare, or um, how do I explain this? Um, oh yeah, you buy expensive car like a, a Mercedes, and you need expensive service X, Y, and Z. Like even though you, you, you hit the Australian dream, but there's so much to go through, you know. So I've explained that to him. I'm like, look at you now, you know. Yeah, you have you comfortable. You lay loose. You're getting one by one on your, you know, exciting contracts to make you have a lot more expenditures and your money is going smaller and smaller and smaller and he's been telling me in the past that he used to run his own business and he wished that he runs a business he could do this a business idea that make money x y and z but now he's too comfortable that he doesn't want any changes not only just him but also the wife doesn't want any changes they don't like changes they like to remain how it is a luxurious great lifestyle and look where it is now 
anyways that's the video and i hope you guys that may share a light to anyone down there